So you mentioned um, doing things to, to help improve our, our brain. Uh, obviously diet and exercise helps everything, but what are some of the specific things we can do to work out our brain, I guess for lack of a better term? Well, you know, if you're thinking about brain workouts, brain gymnastics, there are a number of things. Mm -hmm. and, and actually the science suggests that the more mental stimulation, the better your brain health. And we, we like to think of it as cross-training your brain, so you can do uh, puzzles that work out visual spatial skills. That would be the right side of your brain. Okay. You can do puzzles that work out verbal skills. That would be the left side of your brain. And the other thing to keep in mind is to try to train but not strain your brain. So when you're stimulating your mind, you want to find that sweet spot where something is challenging and engaging but not too difficult because that will be stressful and not too easy because that will be boring. Mm -hmm. You've mentioned stress a couple times and so many doctors that we talk to talk about the damaging effects in other parts of the body that that has. What's going on in our brain when we're under constant stress? Stress will get your body to churn out hormones like cortisol or okay. adrenaline. And we know that these hormones can actually shrink the memory centers of the brain. In fact, animals under chronic stress have smaller hippocampal memory centers and they get lost in their mazes. If you inject a human volunteer with cortisol, there's temporary memory impairment. Now, the good news is that it's temporary. And many studies have found that various stress management methods can improve memory, can improve mood, and actually change the firing of brain cells in a very short period of time.